How y'all doing? I hope y'all ready for this. This is going to be about 20 minutes. So get a Snickers, go get you a cup of coffee, go get you some water, get you some popcorn. Mayor Brandon Scott just gave up $10 million for the art district. Y'all got the Black Arts District, and y'all just gave up another million dollars from Kwai and Fume. Well, I want some of that money. I'm applying for them grants. Yeah, I'm applying for them grants. Like I said, Mayor Scott just put out that money for them for making movies. The world is watching Baltimore. I'm going to give them something to see. I'm going to show them what being black in white America is 2023. It's an MPT. It's a learning moment. That's a legal notice. I'm a jailhouse lawyer. I ain't no jailhouse snitch. State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis, 1986. State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis, 2011. I'm a precedent setting case. I never got a trial. The state took property from me. Y'all let Michelle Alexander write the book, The New Face of Old Jim Crow? You seen the movie, The 13th Amendment? Well, I need my property. I'm a copywritten criminal. You feel me? I'm a copywritten criminal. I've been in the streets since 1972. See that? P.O. Box. 38, Waukegan, Illinois. United States Senate. Barack Obama. Please allow 30 to 60 days for our agency to respond. Additionally, I will... Yeah, nobody never contacted me, but I contacted you. I went city, county, state, and federal levels. You got my federal paperwork, my paperwork with your name on it. Councilman Brandon Scott. Councilman, not council president, not mayor. Councilman. That's how long you've been doing this. Ivan Bates, you got it too. If you deny you know me on earth, are you deny you know me in heaven? All right. This is a commitment to Christ. All right. My commitment to the cause. That's the Creative Alliance. And see who that is? Miss Stephanie Rollins Blake. Commissioner Davis. Yeah. It ain't going to be just us. And I want some justice. That's the Creative Alliance. And that's BOPA. Like I said, I'm going after that art money. Yeah, that art money. Making a movie ain't against the law. I got my film crew. I got my everything I need. That wasn't a bomb. It was a toilet. And we're going to talk about these cases right here. That's evidence. And that's the state's attorney's office, February the 2nd at 8.50 p.m. a.m. We're talking about a class action lawsuit because you did to a class of people. I'm an activist in Baltimore. Ask somebody about me. I'm shorty. Yeah. P.O. Box 38. That's a toilet because we go to jail, we got to share that toilet. So I'm sharing that toilet with the world. This is a jailhouse diary. See the date? And that's the FBI. Y'all got to get my files from Illinois and in Maryland. That's art and evidence. Ivan Bates got this. You feel me? You playing Operation Dominoes. I'm going to play Dominoes. All right? That's the toilet. That's President Obama and Tom Perez. Perez was the Department of Justice then. And that's Shorty. To be the best, you got to beat the best. Y'all ain't beat me yet. This is product merchandising. All right? We got the movie right there. That's Obama in the toilet. And the world is watching. So I'm going to give him something to see. I'm going to show him Maryland's prison industry. We got different color toilets because the toilet don't care if you black, white, straight or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. That's Obama and Perez. That's Governor Hogan's toilet. That's Governor Hogan. And that's Governor Hogan. Yeah. That's the Governor Hogan toilet with Shorty. I got a Corey McRae toilet. I got a McFadden toilet. I got a Clippinger toilet. Yeah, I got male and female toilets. Like I said, the war on drugs. You're going to learn something today. See the date? See the case? That's Dwayne Shorty Davis. Go look it up. Case search it. Because that's me right there. All right, that's my penitentiary number. So I ain't hiding nothing from you. That's out for justice. Out for justice. I'm an ex-felon. Ex-felons got a right to vote and run for office. You can't lock up the truth. I'm an activist. That's Mayor Brandon Scott. That's Nick Mosby. That's Bill Henry and Robert Stokes. Partners in crime. And all of y'all got evidence. So when I call y'all's name for an investigation in the grand jury, 
Make sure you bring my paperwork. All right. Make sure you bring my paperwork. Out for justice. We opening up Baltimore. Remember the stop snitching video from 2006? We're going to see who's going to snitch on who. Remember the stop snitching from 2006? Yeah. Donnie Mose from the Baltimore City Police Department. We're going to talk about the KKK. We're going to talk about all y'all. But you got a trial coming up. And we're going to play the tapes. We're going to show you too. You know what I'm saying? You too. We're going to play these tapes. Because it's art and activism. The art of protest. And I'm an artist. I'm an activist. I'm a professional pisser offer. I'm going to get ready to piss y'all off with this shit. I'm going to show y'all squirting and skeeting. Skeeting and squirting. Squirting and working. We're going to see y'all in y'all's toilets. Double D Bales Bonds been asking about me. We saying goodnight to racism and hello to freedom. That's me and Ed Ozzie Newsom. That's Ed Mulatello. You stole me from my family like you stole children from Africa. I'm a free black man. I'm a black man that works in my community. President Biden got this too. He was Senator Biden when I started this. All right. That's Jeff Majors. And that's the supporters of shorties. Y'all got mad because I applied for Martin Luther King's job. I'm an activist. Ask the West family. You wear the mask, you got to put in the work. Ask Devin Allen. Yeah, a beautiful ghetto. That's Marilyn Mosby. Y'all made me famous for toilets? Martin Luther King made toilets famous because Public Accommodations Act, the right to use the bathrooms, the right to access the court. 1964, Google search public accommodations. I got the right to shit on you. I got the right to shit on you. That's the Weaver Award, m and Bank, Shorty Davis. Homelessness and mass incarceration. And I did my job. You feel me? I did my job. Ask TJ Smith. He's a witness and we won't be in church. Totally don't care if you black, white, straight or gay. Yeah, totally take your shit every day. So I put all our politicians on these toilets. I made toilets and I'm selling them at $25 a pop. I got merchandise. Mic check. Yeah, it's about merchandising. Because I'm selling a film. A film about Baltimore. And the money you make, y'all open for business. And I'm going to show you business. It's the learning tree. It's the learning tree. And you're going to learn something in 2023. It's the learning tree. You're going to learn something in 2023. This is the part of the story that gets real deep. You feel me? It shows you how long I've been doing this. This ain't just overnight. I put in that work. Same way I worked in the streets, I work on this side of the fence too. And we're going to start from the beginning. That's Martin Luther King. If you deny you know me on earth, are you going to deny you know me in heaven? That's the state prosecutor's office. Go get everything I sent them. All my paperwork. You see that? That's 443-831-1188 to present date. 1-2-2008. All right? Dwayne G. Davis, Shorty's Underground. All right? James Hammond. Apple Cross Circle, Jake Davis, Michael Coons, all right? Y'all went in my mailbox. Y'all went in my mailbox. That's postal threats and vandalizing, all right? And this is what you took out my mailbox. That's the Senator Cardins, all right? That's Senator Cardins when I started this. That's Brian Frost. She was Senator Frost. That's Al Repmer. When all this happened, I was insured for a million dollars. Get my policy with the state of Maryland. I was insured till September 2008. This happened before September. That's the IRS. I need a federal and state audit. Taxation without representation of denial of my constitutional rights. That's President Trump. You're going to have another court case. That's President Biden and the Attorney General. That's Chief Justice Mary Barbera. That's Governor Hogan. All right. That's Governor Hogan. That's Chief Justice Mary Barbera. That's the IRS. That's Jared Jamante. As we talk about voter suppression, denying ex felons the right to vote since 2006. That's Kwa'i and Fumi and Johnny Oleski. That's Mayor Brandon Scott. That's Sarbanes. That's Brooke Learman. All right. So when I call your name out, social media for social change. And Mayor Brandon Scott produced that paperwork. See the date since 2021. You had knowledge. That's Jared Jimenez, 2022. So Brooke Learman, Westmore, 
No one left behind. I've been left behind too long. I've been left behind since 2006. It's time for to put me in the front. Put me in the front row. You feel me? My mother died from cancer on February the 2nd, 2011. My sister's in the movie. You know what I'm saying? We talking about the 13th Amendment and the money you make off black bodies. The NAACP. I'm going to talk about Thurgood Marshall because we're going to go to court. I got a right to access the grand jury under Senate Bill 374 and Marcella Holloman versus Marilyn Mosby. That's Billy Murphy. Ask him. So Governor Westmore, President Biden, do blacks have rights in which white America respects? You talk about Indigenous Day, Christopher Columbus, but what about us? We've been here for 400 years. I went home on vacation and came back on probation. We're talking about American injustice. That's my mother, and she's going to get the same respect that y'all want for y'alls. If you deny you know me on earth, are you going to deny you know me in heaven? Well, we're going to flip this one. That's Governor O'Malley. See that Thursday, June 21st, 2005. Yeah, that's how long I've been doing this. That's my store on Falls Road. He's an employee and nothing but an employee. That's the Department of Justice. Johnny Oleski asked for an investigation in 2019. Right here. And what's more, you ain't did nothing about it. To be the best, you got to beat the best. And y'all ain't beat me yet. You feel me? Y'all ain't beat me yet. A movie all about Baltimore. Westmore and Shorty. The Ruin Shorty. Sean Yeltsin Shorty. I gave you the criminal enterprise that y'all created to keep black people locked up in 2010. ABC 2 works for Governor O'Malley and mass incarceration. I never got a trial. That's Peter Francott. That's Attorney General Anthony Brown. That's Senator Ben Cardins, all right? 2013, left information. Miss Gion, my whistleblower's application. You feel me? That's Bill Henry. That's Mark Steiner from WEEA Radio. That's Adrian Jones, Speaker of the House. That's Bill Ferguson. That's the Maryland Black Caucus. And that's Attorney General Anthony Brown. He got this too. That's Governor Westmore. And that's Governor Westmore. I was making a movie. The movie about the Democratic Party and the money you make off black bodies. Slavery still exists. It evolved from enslavement to mass incarceration. And Tom Perez, you was in the room when they put me out when Biden came to Baltimore. You know me as well. Y'all got my paperwork. We talking about McFadden. You ain't in office no more. So prosecutorial immunity doesn't apply to you. You know me. All right. Ask Sean Yost for that video we did for Out for Justice. All right. President Obama asked for the investigation. Y'all ain't did it yet. See who you are? That's Senator Ben Cardins. In regards to your documentary, I will not be able to appear. Well, you in it if you like it or not. Social media for social change. It's a lifestyle. That's Lake County, Illinois. 1402 Lochner. See that? WVON Chicago. That's ABC, CBS, 98 Rock, and 92Q. You got to release all this material to the voters before the 2024 elections. The Supreme Court or, or an exoneration. Because terrorism isn't an expungible charge. I'm not looking for expungement. I'm looking for exoneration of the Supreme Court. That's Chief Justice Bell. He got my paperwork. Shannon Sneed. Adrian Jones. Jack Young. Racism don't work without black cooperation. We talk about the new face of old Jim Crow and the 13th Amendment, and you stand it right in his face. Jimmy Britton met me when I first came here. I had my store on Falls Road. Ask Jimmy Britton about me. See the mail receipt? State Attorney Mosby. She tied to this. See the receipt? 
Delegate Stephanie Smith, she tied to this. Dear friend, your letter will be re reviewed, all right? And this is the Department of Justice. That's my Department of Justice ID number. That's my Department of Justice ID number. That's the Department of Justice. It's your lifestyle, all right? It's your lifestyle. That's the Department of Justice, Eric Holder. No, Tom Perez and President Obama. All right, we're going to talk about Congressman Cummings and President Trump. All right, right here, Washington, D.C., 2000 and what? Yeah, Chief Justice. That's the Supreme Court. That's my store on Falls Road, Davis versus Illinois. I never got a trial. That's the clerk of the court. And this is the mail receipts that you stole in 2011. That's Justice Pearson and Frank Conway. That's Judge Bell. Yeah, we got that. That's Pollard Towing. That's Stephen Janice from Fox 45. That's Brian Frost. Journalists. And that's Governor Westmore, the state of Maryland. No one left behind. You had my paperwork for a year. I know what you did last summer. You was here. That's Anthony Brown. That's Smith. And that's Clippinger. That's a legal notice. City, county, state, and federal levels. Baltimore City, Baltimore County, and Lake County, Illinois. And y'all got that. Governor O'Malley, Governor Quinn, Attorney General, Attorney General. Certified. So President Obama, like I said, asked for the investigation. That's Robin Hood. Yeah. See who that is? Senator James Brochin, Governor Hogan, Delegate Stephanie Smith, Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake, Eric Holder. That's the Maryland Legislative Black Caucus. See the date? 2009. 1402 Lochner. You stand for Tennessee, but you let them kidnap me. You see who was on that? You see who there? The only one that spoke up for me was Kathleen Pugh, and y'all sent her to jail. But everybody else? Anthony Muse? Yeah, I came down to Annapolis in 2023 and did it all over again. Yeah, that's Delegate Stephanie Smith. That's GOP Carter. And that's Judge Audrey Carrion. If you go to YPR, WYPR, they got this. You feel me? WYPR got this. That's the Maryland Legislative Black Caucus in 2009. That's Kwaisi and Fume. That's Mayor Brandon Scott and Senator Van Hollen. Y'all giving out checks, but y'all cut need to cut me one. That's Mayor Brandon Scott. That's Mayor Brandon Scott. That's President Obama. And y'all got to produce this paperwork. See that? 2010. 1402 Lochner. Sarbanes had this. Governor Hogan had this. Pam Woods know about this. That's February 2009. Dwayne Davis, 1402 Lochner. Motion for a public hearing. That's 2010. My lawyer, Mr. Bailey. All right. The telephone call, 3-1-2010, pertaining to your failure and refusal to f defend my civil and constitutional rights and human rights. All right. You got a moral and ethical obligation, due diligence of the law. And that's who got a copy of the letter. That's who got a copy of the letter. President Obama, Lisa Madigan, Patrick Fitzgerald, Director of the FBI, Governor Quinn, Governor O'Malley, Lake County Board, Judge Bell. All right. Sam Cunningham got this. Audrey Nixon got this. That's in Illinois. Sam Cunningham, Audrey Nixon. And if you go to the Lake County Board meeting in June of 2010, my testimony is on file. My file, my testimony is also in the transcripts in my case in February where I went for a change of venue. I read Dred Scott in the court records. So we're going to bring Dred Scott back in the, the real records. They will congratulate a person doing the same thing as you, just not you, just because it's you. That's Tiffany Harvey. See who that is? Legislative Affairs, Attorney General's Office. All right. That's my Community Verizon Award. 
all right that's pfk boom and shorty like i said i'm an activist that's ryan dorsey and shorty and he called me out the other day talking about he voted for yes for Worley. Worley don't deserve to serve and you're gonna be one of the first people i see leave a toilet in front of your house man shorty stop shitting on me that's what it's gonna be shorty pull your mask up no ryan dorsey and shorty and you approve this message that's Abdul Salam. He was beaten by Baltimore City Police Department. That's Tawanda Jones. Her brother was killed by Baltimore City Police Department and Morgan State University Police Department. I'm not the clown around town. I'm not Dred Scott. This is a ghetto da Vinci code. I'm an activist. And I use toilets for my activism. That's David Robinson and Shorty. You feel me? And that's my film, Dungeon. That's where I put all my papers together. Like I said, I applied for Martin Luther King's job, just like Martin, letters from a Birmingham jail. I gave you letters from Lake County and letters from Baltimore County. And I'm going to show you your corruption. Uh, Adam May got to play that whole hour and a half interview. Play the whole tape for the world to see, because that's FCC violations. Rod Rosenstein. Yeah, mass incarceration. You participated in that. So President Obama, Tom Perez going to the Supreme Court with that and we're gonna take that toilet to the Supreme Court that's parole and probation that's parole and probation no attack occurred you feel me block party gets bigger and better that's shorty got a story called shorty and I got a lot of stories yeah see who she is name them I was their security I was in the Capitol with my toilets like I said, we're playing Operation Dominoes. That's Detective Collins, Internal Affairs Division. And we're going to play that all for everybody. See who that is? Elijah Cummings. That's the Baltimore Oreos. they in the playoffs. But they down by two. That's Franksky when I came here. Miss Tony, how you want to carry it? That's my political soapbox, that toilet. And y'all made me famous for that. And I'm going to run with that. That's exhibit three. Shorty. You got some snakes in the church. You better keep your eyes on them. That's PFK Boom. That's Christopher Irvin. Christopher Irvin was in the room when I went to see Congressman Cummings. So in 2024, I'm going to ask for amnesty from Amnesty International. And that's me. All right. Shorty Davis. Shorty's underground. Feel me? I'm going to be asking for justice from Amnesty International in 2024 about the war on drugs. Amnesty International. And I'm going to show them everything I've been doing since 2014. You feel me? I'm going to give them everything from Brian Frosch, Mayor Brandon Scott, Eric Holder, the Department of Justice, Chief Justice Mary Barbera, State Attorney Mosby, Delegate Stephanie Smith, and Judge Carrion. I'm going to Amnesty International. I don't get no justice. You don't get no peace. That's me and Zion. That's Exhibit 3. And that's the Department of... No, that's the FBI. I got an FBI file, Department of Justice file. And I got a T.J. Smith toilet. You feel me? These are the toilets I got. See all the toilets? All the politicians? You stand for Tennessee, but you silent about me. You got a trial coming up. Yeah, you got a trial coming up, and this shit going to sell. That's the FBI and the FBI files. Like I said, I'm making a movie all about Baltimore. Art and activism. The art of protest. Y'all open for business. Ask the Job Opportunity Task Force. The criminalization of poverty. So President Biden, what you going to do with me? Y'all got a letter for exoneration or the Supreme Court. The choice is yours. But just like Dred Scott, since y'all put the abortion law in effect and y'all took back the abortion, we're going to see if blacks got rights in which white America respects. Because y'all treat us the same way that the Israel's treating the Palestinians with no respect. I stand with Palestine. I stand with Gaza. Because America did the same thing to the indigenous people that they sitting here praising today. You took their land, you took their property, and you took their people. Just like the indigenous people, you did the same thing to Africa. I'm a free black man, and I'm standing for my freedoms.
2023, exoneration of the Supreme Court. 2024, sign or die.